Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back into another video. Um, this video is going to be another cloth pad review. These cloth pads are from the shop Crafty Nook 3559 on Etsy. And I have three to review for you guys. I have two regulars and one heavy. Um, and I will get into the details of that. I hope that you can hear me in this video. I've got a lot going on in my background. I have my washing machine going, washing my cloth diapers. And I've got two babies that will may cry or make noise in the background as they're both supposed to be going down for naps right now. The shop owner, her name is Sylvia. She is a super sweet lady. I did talk to her um, right after I purchased my pads um, just to let her know how I found out about her shop. I always think that's nice to kind of recognize who, um, you know, showed you a new place that you like. And I did hear about it from modest midwest mama on youtube here she does a lot of um cloth pad reviews so definitely go check her channel out and show her some love as well as shopping with sylvia at her etsy shop crafty nook 3559 sylvia um is retired her and her husband retired after their business burnt down and um, she does cloth pads to kind of you know make up for not having a nine to five job and she does really well at it obviously and so my review is on her pads here and let me start out with the very first one that I saw whenever I jumped onto her Etsy shop and I knew I had to have it and it is this unicorn print it is super girly oh my gosh and it like, I don't know if you can see the stitching here. It's like a rainbow stitching and it's really pretty and she does label her pads. See there's an R for regular and it has coordinating snaps. It's got a cute little heart snap. Um, I will show you a picture of what the pad looked like brand new right here. Let me now show you what the pad looks like after I have used it and washed it about three times. I've only used it for one cycle, but I really wanted to get to know this pad. I wanted to know how it works to the fullest and how it washed and all of that so I could review for you guys. And it held up really well. It I don't know if you can see it's a very light color and there is little to no staining there might be a little bit right here but you really can't tell and the back it is a little pilly I will say that but no staining whatsoever as you can see and this one is a cotton topped pad it is ten and a quarter inch long and two and three quarters inch wide which i like that i like a nice wide width here as my flow is more of center to front but i on my heavy flow days it all goes to the center and it seems to be very um heavy so but this is a regular pad and i did not leak through it so that's one thing i wanted to say i really um, appreciated that you can kind of see the thickness here so I I like thicker pads not everybody does but I don't consider this a thicker pad I feel like this is just perfect and I was really unsure about getting the ten and a quarter inch length because I tend to like longer pads but um, so I thought you know what I'm gonna try it out and I did and I really like it The print is Coco. I don't know if you know of the Disney Coco, but it is so cute. I love that movie and so does my son. And I thought this print was just too cute to pass up. It's the same on the back. It is a little peely, but it's still very soft. And it's that light pink, no staining. You can't see any staining at all on the pads. So they come clean very well. This is another cotton topped pad and it has different uh, stitching style, but the same rainbow thread. And it is, let's see, where is the R? 
It is marked with an R right here as well, and it has a little flower snap this time, which is really cute. In the same length and the same width as this one. Last one that I got from her, it is the same length. It's a 10 and a quarter and the same width. Um, and I thought it was a regular because the listing said it was a regular when I ordered it, but I don't know if she just made a typo or got confused or maybe she sent me the wrong pad. But this one is marked heavy and it is definitely a heavy pad. You can really feel the difference between the two. You might not be able to see the difference, but this one feels like it's got another layer in it. Um, for absorption and this one is a flannel topped and it has a purple backing you can see the H there as well and coordinating uh, light purple snaps and I thought this hedgehog print was really cute I like the little um, blue uh, grass looking things in it and they got flowers and I love flannel topped pads I have I think two now and this one Oh, it's my favorite flannel top I have. So you can see the thickness there. check out her other social media accounts I will link them in the description below like on her Facebook page she does post when she plans on doing a giveaway and um, it's really neat you know she gives discounts often that I see have been posted and um, she even does custom orders she does more than cloth pads too like she does wet bags so I will definitely be purchasing from her Etsy shop, Crafty Nook 3559 again. Um, Sylvia was very nice and I am really excited to see new products that she comes out with. I am kind of obsessive with checking um, the Etsy shops that I um, inter am interested in buying more products from. And um, I'm always going straight to hers to see if she's added any new listings of some new um, prints that I might need to have. Um, I will say her prices are very affordable. I feel like completely fair. Um, and I really enjoy the quality of her pads. And I love the stitching. I love that they're a little thicker. So if you like thicker pads, um, I definitely suggest um, checking her out. They're so comfortable. It, I never want to use disposable pads again. In fact, my stash is still very small. That's why I had to um, wash and wear these uh, three times my last cycle because I just did not want to put another disposable on, but they dry really fast. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please keep an eye out for future cloth pad reviews. Um, I'm going to try to do about one every month. Um, if I can't do a review that month for some reason, I haven't purchased new pads, then I may throw in a what I wore this month video or maybe my cloth pad storage or wash routine. I will try to put out at least one cloth pad related video each month. So please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload because it is at random times right now. Um, I post a lot of mommy and lifestyle type videos. I am a mom of two boys. I have a two year old and a nine month old currently and um, they keep me on my toes. So I'm posting, you know, cleaning videos, organize with me videos and baby update videos, stuff of that nature. So if you're interested in things like that, definitely subscribe and keep an eye out for future videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day.